Hello and Hello. thank you and for thank you tuning for in. Tuning uh, in. Uh, I go by Pirate I Cat and I would like to thank everyone so much for subscribing. If you subscribe, if you subscribe. And Pretty much, I got 11 Pretty subscribers, got 11 which subscribers, is quite which amazing because I didn't even think I'd get three subscribers when I first started, started this channel. So, 11 is like the holy grail, like grail, grail to me. And I wanted to show my appreciation by going through a bit of British slang words for you guys. So, pretty much, I was talking to my American friend the other day, and he was saying how funny British people are with some of their words. And he was going on about some of the words that we use, and even I even didn't I know some of them. Know some of like, them. And he like, did ask me, and he, he did ask me, are you actually are British? And I was like, yeah, British born and raised, like, yeah, but born and raised, but most people, uh, most people don't use uh, don't slang use words anymore. Slang words anymore. It, it was very it, it popular was in the very like eighties, nineties. Like now 90s, hardly anyone now uses hardly it. Anyone but I just thought I go through the this website called Smartly. Smart just go through a bit of British bit slang of words. British slang Some of these words. I haven't even Some of these heard I of at, even at all. Heard of so at all. So uh, I'm just going to skip uh, over the ones that I've not, not heard of. Before, but not heard yeah, this is what we're going to do. This is what and we're going to do. I hope you enjoy and it. I hope you enjoy so it. So let's get into it. So let's get into it. So the first one, as you can see, is all mouth and no trousers. Now, no trousers. Now. All mouth and no trousers is pretty much all talk and no action. And no is. We used, we used to do this in school when we got a bully and, and they would bully just run and their mouth and run their mouth. They would threaten you, yeah, but they wouldn't do anything. They wouldn't do anything. Pretty much, that's the same thing. All mouth and no trousers, also known as all no all talk, no action, no action. So the second one we got is Ajvaji, which I don't hear very much anymore. And it is and pretty much an, pretty an much argument or heated argument confrontation. Or so, confrontation. So, so, I'm not interested in I'm getting interested into in getting an argy bargy about, about it. About so, it. So, although most people nowadays most just people say argy bargy is just, uh, just old. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we used but, to uh, use that as a kid too, as well. As well. So, Bang so to right, bang to is right. Pretty much, uh, caught, pretty much, uh, caught in the act, caught red-handed, doing caught something. Red doing something. Um, um, I, d I haven't I actually. I haven't I've actually heard this I've once, heard or twice, this once or twice, but I haven't actually, I haven't actually heard it enough times to, enough say, times that to say that I've used it at all. all. Okay, so okay, so put a fourth one. Put a fourth uh, one. Bent as uh, bent a nine as above a nine. No. Bob, now, no. If you're not from right. if you're the not UK, from you will not UK, know that. You will not back know in the olden days, back in the olden days, when you uh, see, say that one uh, bob that was one five bob pence. This is way before my time, anyway. But I know, anyway. Anyway. I know that one was bob was five, five, five pence. So nine bob is forty-five so nine pence, and there's no note for forty-five pence. So that's why this metaphor works because. Because uh, there isn't uh, which there is so which the nine shilling so bob the nine no, shilling which bob does not exist which and does therefore not exist must and therefore fit. must be counted. So pretty much uh, so we use, uh, use this for uh, like people uh, who are conning uh, people. people, uh, people. Who are so people. That street, so vendor seller that street vendor selling seller watches is bent watches as a nine bob note. As a nine bob note. So uh, blinding, so, uh, um, blinding. I've heard this um, before. I've heard this yeah, before. I, yeah, I prefer to use I, the word excellent the anyway. Word excellent uh, but anyway, uh, but uh, you're blinding. Uh, you're blinding. Uh, you're excellent uh, sort of thing. Excellent sort of thing. Uh, number six is uh, chuck. Number six is chuck. Which, which it usually which means that you're uh, happy you're about it. Uh, you're very pleased about something. So I'm. Chucked that my favourite football team has won. Team has won. Um, yeah, I, I don't watch yeah, football. I, I don't watch oh, football. Just to point oh, just out, to point um, out, football, um, to us football to us is uh, is soccer, to, uh, the soccer to the USA. To the USA. Pretty, much. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, and your football yeah, and is your football pretty much is the pretty equivalent, much to, the rugby equivalent to rugby here. Uh, it's kind of confusing, uh, but it's kind of you know. confusing. And uh, you know. so and we're uh, just going to carry so on. We're um, just going to carry on. Number um, seven is number conk, seven is which conk, is a blow to the head or nose. Uh, uh, I've only uh, ever heard it. I've only ever heard it to the head. To so a blow to the head, so not a blow, a blow to, to the, the nose. But you learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. So okay, so 
uh, corker, uh, corker, someone or something, uh, someone that, or something slash that who, slash is who is outstanding. I have heard this before and I've used, used it before. But it's been a couple of years since I've actually used it. So, uh, so, uh, oh, 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 I'm trying to think now. Oh, I'm trying to think now. <laughs> um, um, you have a corker of a you friend. You have a corker of a friend. You have an outstanding friend. You have an friend. outstanding yeah, there friend. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we <laughs> go. Okay, so. Okay, pretty so much number nine much is do one's nine not. Is okay, so not. there's two okay, parts so there's two to this. Do one's not, do one's which not, is, which is when someone do, becomes when someone becomes enraged, uh, enraged. Uh, well, when you become well, when enraged, you become at enraged at something, at something uh, from uh, news that someone's from told news you, that or someone's pretty told much you anything. Pretty much anything. And then we got and do ones not in. Ones so you're the one trying to get someone else angry. So. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. number ten, um, damp squid. Number ten, damp squid. Never heard of it before. Never heard of it before. Uh, so, yeah. so it was probably before my time. Probably before <laughs> my time. <laughs> okay, so okay, number so eleven. I love this 11, one. Uh, I, love I this do one. actually uh, say do this a lot, uh, this especially uh, when I'm. Especially when I I'm can't remember the I name. I can't remember something. the name or something. Usually, it's Usually called doofa. It's uh, called doofa. A load of people, uh, a load of people, s- some other people say thing the majig or watch him call or watch him call it. Watch him call it. It's when thing. someone can't when remember someone the can't name remember of an item, and I really need it. So, for example, uh, a remote for control. Example, a remote control. If you were closer to the if remote control, to the remote and control I wanted you to pass it me, and I couldn't remember what it was called, remember what it was Point at it. Most people when they use the word doofa, they point at it. And that, that, the shape and that, that, the shape like there wrist, they all like and I go, wrist. can you pass me that doofa, do or watch him a jig, 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 and then they look at you uh, funny because you're pointing to something, and they're like, go get it yourself, and you're like, why you're closer, why you're closer, um, um, number 12, an earwig. Number 12, I haven't earwig. used this, but I have heard this, of it. It pretty, pretty much means to eavesdrop on, on a conversation or a person. Or a person or pretty much, uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much listening pretty to much something that does not, does not concern you. Does not concern you. Um, oh um, oh what's happening? Oh, where are we? Oh, yeah. Where are number 13, number 13 eating onions. We don't do this anymore. We don't do um, this anymore. Uh, uh, we used to do uh, it when we were we kids. We used to do it when we were kids. No, it's just easier to no, say cutlery. It's just easier to say cutlery. Uh, eating utensils. Uh, eating utensils. And, uh, and, uh, 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 I don't know if I've said uh, this, I don't know if I've most said this, of these most phrases, of these most of these, phrases, um, most of these, um, most of these things are, most of these things are kind of, kind of, how would you say? How would you say? Mm. Mm. I'm trying to think now. I'm trying to think uh, now. Uh, mm. Most of these, most of these, most of these slang most words of these are, slang pretty words much are pretty much used when used when uh, early in the early 70s, in the 80s, 70s and 90s. 80s and 90s. They're not really used. They're not really much used anymore. much anymore. So. Uh, saying that, uh, let's get back to it. That, okay, number 14 okay, is a bit weird, weird to me. I saw this and I thought Fortnite. And it, it didn't click and because, it didn't click Fortnite, because Fortnite, to Fortnite to me is every two weeks, is two which, two which weeks, is what that says is here. What it's, a says here. Word it's a British slang word for a period of two weeks. Now, I actually thought a fortnight was used all around the world. Like the word Fortnite being used all around the world. Pretty much on this side. This so, site, so I'm kind of confused, I'm kinda about, confused that. about that. I, I thought that. everyone used Fortnite. Everyone used Fortnite. Yeah, it, yeah. it's like um, it, it's like um, we we set oh we, we gosh, set uh, oh gosh, uh, right something right. about uh, something about us saying uh, it's us saying uh, anti-clockwise, uh, anti meaning it's backwards, it's backwards, and. And I, I thought that was used all, around, was the used all it, around the world, and it, 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 it turns out it wasn't. It, it turns out it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I can understand my friend yeah, saying that. My friend British, saying British that people British are British quite people funny are with their words. With their words. To me, because I've to lived here, I've, I've born and bred in the UK. It just seems so. It just seems so normal for me. Normal for me. So. Okay, so, so we're gonna do okay, the next so one. We're gonna um, do I'm next not. One. I haven't um, really not, heard fence. Really I've heard of a front I've heard before. Of a, front before. Uh, a front, which is uh, usually when a supermarket or shop. Usually, 
fronts. It's a front, so they'll. So it may look like a shot, but in the shot, but at the back of the back, the scenes, the scenes used for something else. For something else. I think that's pretty much what a fence is. But we call it a front. But we call it a front. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. The fuzz, which is also something that we call the police. But we have a few names for the police. The fuzz, Popo, Popo, and the one that I like the most is the Rosers. The Rosers. Uh, I, I'm not sure I, how, many, not people sure how many people um, actually call the place um, the Rosas. The place the Rosas. So uh, the next so, one uh, is Gaffa, uh, which usually means uh, which the boss. Usually means the I boss. know it says foreman or, it employer. Says foreman or employer. Pretty much the boss. Pretty much the of, boss. Of, uh, so so like if so so like if. I pretty much work. I pretty much or work. I, I or work I, I in a warehouse situation. So my gaffer there would be, there would uh, be anyone that was above me. Mainly the manager. So the manager, the manager, would, be the manager would be my gaffer. Uh, unless someone else uh, comes. Unless someone else came comes along that was, uh, came along that was uh, higher than uh, my manager. Higher than and then my he manager, would be my gaffer. He would be my gaffer. It pretty much means the boss. It pretty much means the boss. Gutted um, is a state of a extreme state despair, of extreme despair, which, it, which, which is also, which is also we use it also to say that we're disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm gutted that you know something that, happened. You know, something happened. Uh, uh, that, for example, I'm gutted. Um, I'm gutted. Um, my football team my didn't football win. Team didn't sort of thing. Win. Uh, okay, so uh, I haven't okay, heard so go to spare. Go to spare. Nor hard cheese. Nor hard cheese. Uh, uh, I've heard of honk. I've heard of um, honk um, once or twice. Once honk or twice, once or twice, honk but, once or twice uh, but not so uh, much not to actually, so much to um, actually um, use it. Use it, use it all the time. Use it all the time. So number twenty-two, so number idiot box, uh, idiot box uh, set. Television set. Um, um, I haven't actually heard. I haven't this actually one. heard this one. And Lorca says um, most of these Lorca are says most of these fr from the seventies, eighties, nineties that we don't use anymore. We don't use anymore. Ivory is uh, haven't heard. Jock haven't heard. No. Jock. Joe. No. no. Joe. No. Kafuffle. No. Funny because it's, it's pretty much. Uh, it's pretty much. Uh, two people have. Two people like have a disagreement. Like a disagreement. Have different views and they have different views. And it's not really an argument. It's not really an argument as such. As such, it, well, it kind of is, well, but it, it isn't. Is, so it isn't, that's so kind of weird. That's one. kind of weird. Uh, knees up, no. Uh, knees no up, one's no. onions. No one's onions. <laughs> that's kind of funny, but that's no. Kind of funny, <laughs> but no. Uh, lag. Uh, lag. I haven't. Laughing I haven't. gear. No. Nope. Laughing gear. Marbles. Nope. Marbles. Now the funny thing now, with marbles is, thing is you don't really go up to someone and say you've got good marbles. You got good marbles. They look at you strangely and then just uh, walk away, just away from you, like, like you've uh, got, like got something wrong with you. Uh, but if you was to turn around uh, to them and say you have you lost your marbles or you've lost your marbles, they'd understand that. They'd understand that. Pretty much. Pretty much. I'm not going to say marbles. Marbles is pretty much your intelligence or good sense. But if you've lost marbles. It means lost that marbles, have you lost means your that mind? You lost your mind. Usually, you say that Usually if someone's got an idea, and an idea their idea, idea is that crazy, idea that, that you say, crazy, have you lost your marbles? Have you lost your marbles. Okay, so the next one is okay, myth. So the next one is no, myth. Myth is no, pretty, pretty much being, being upset or offended. I always thought it was being upset or confused. Upset or confused. But like I says, uh, I'm learning. Like says, I'm learning. Well, I, I've lived in, well, I, I've in lived the UK in for all my in life, the UK and for all my you know, life I'm still learning new stuff here. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, no, uh, I haven't heard that. Not too no. Odds and sods. Odds and sods. Meaning pre pretty much. Uh, pretty if much. You got like. If you got like. It. it it means it like odds and ends. Means so, like odds and ends, if so you was to play a game, if you was to play a game, and you got the best, got the the best, the best, the best rewards at the front, the rewards at the front, and then you pretty and much, uh, you pretty much. Uh, so is that like you got like so a TV like for, the like for the first place? For the first place. Last place you got last like, place uh, you got like uh, a key ring, a key ring. But in between, uh, but in between, going up, uh, there's going better, up, there's better stuff better, and stuff like that. Stuff so and stuff like that. Pretty much, so if you come in eighth, much if you eighth come in place eighth and you eighth get, place and you're you pretty get, much left with the odds and sobs. Pretty much left with the odds and sobs. 
uh, Paddy, uh, Paddy. The funny thing is, uh, the funny is, thing is uh, we usually we usually say this when there's a kid who is from a tent, is from uh, a tent. Uh, a temper, uh, tantrum. a temper tantrum. So if a kid's in the so store at the supermarket the and their mum or their dad won't buy them what uh, a pack of crisps they want, and they throw a ten and they throw a tantrum, they are throwing a paddy. We call it a paddy. It's quite fun that way. Most of these I haven't actually heard of before. The rosa, as you can see, as you can see, as we spoke earlier. Uh, skive, uh, skive, which usually means which someone who uh, someone pretends who, to get uh, out to of get going out to of work going or to school. Work or Pretty school. much, uh, Pretty much skive, off, uh, skive off school uh, or to call work or, or to say that they weren't going to work because they want to do skydiving or something like that. Something like that. Skint. Skint. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much it means pretty without much money. Means so say so like, uh, so so like you've got no money in your bank, you've got no you money can't go bank, out because you you're skinned. Skin. So you can't go to the movies because you've got no money. No, this no. word bankrupt this word is bankrupt usually... Um, is usually um, the word bankrupt is kind of... What do you call it? A bit extreme for skin. But I think it. It kind of works in a way. It kind of works in a way. The funniest one here that I actually that I actually in the whole of this whole of this this list is tape the Mickey. Tape the Mickey. I gotta admit it kind of sounds funny. It kind of sounds funny. It means to mock someone. So mock someone. So. Pretty much, uh, pretty much taking uh, the Mickey out of someone the because they have because green hair or green uh, hair or, uh, or, or, uh, or or they can do something that you can't. You take the Mickey out of them, and, and, uh, then they get upset. Uh, then they get upset. But, yeah, that's what we call yeah, that's taking the Mickey to tease or to mock. Pretty much someone. Pretty much someone. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I'm going to go over today. And I would like to thank you guys for you guys. You know. Um, you know, just, um, just thank you guys for thank you guys for staying with me for this long. And, and I, I hope I, I, I hope, hope to do this again. I hope to do but this again. This time I'm going to be doing it with American slang words because I have absolutely no idea with American, American slang, slang words. words so that will be interesting. So that will be interesting. But if you like this video, you like I am this video, so thankful that you do. And I hope to keep entertaining you. Anyway, I shall speak to you later. Pirate cat signing off. Pirate cat signing off.